I'm Adriano Clemente. I'm Josh Best, and you're watching Wink Sound. I'm going to demonstrate how to sync two computers with the use of a Wi-Fi connection to control Ableton Live. We are in Bushwick for the Ableton Open Session in New York City. Tonight was bringing analog and digital together for the main subject of the night. The whole idea was for me and Adriano to connect our two computers together via Wi-Fi. We were able to manipulate dance cello together as one. The first thing we're going to do is create our own network. For Mac users, click on the airport logo at the top right of the screen and click Create Network. You can then create your own title for the network. In this case, the network is titled Ableton Open Session. You can create your own private network as well, which can only be accessed by others typing in the password that you create here. Click OK and your network is created. We'll now open up the Audio MIDI setup window to sync up the two computers. This is the default window of the Audio MIDI setup window. What we'll do next is click on Show MIDI Window from the Window drop-down menu. The MIDI Studio window will appear, and you double-click on the Network icon to access the Network Setup. The MIDI Network Setup window will then appear. If there is no session available under My Session, click the plus button to add a new session and title this Session 1. Apply this to both computers. Click Connect, and the user you're connecting with will appear in the space titled Participants. The final step will be to sync our computers with an Ableton Live. To do this, we'll first access Live's Preference window by clicking Preference in the Live drop-down menu or by using the hotkey command comma. Next, click the MIDI sync tab within Live's preference window. The slave user will enable the sync on button under the input sync, and the master will enable the sync on button under the output sync. This is done so the master user controls the global transport of the slave within Ableton Live. Now to completely sync up the two computers within Ableton Live, the slave must enable the external switch at the top left of the screen. The master user now has complete control of the slave with the use of the global transport. To adjust any latency issues between the two computers, click and drag vertically here to adjust the MIDI clock sync delay. Hi, my name is Dan Ben Shedler. I'm a cellist in Park Slope. Tonight I was playing the cello and I just had a quarter inch jack. That's how I gave a line in signal to the computer and then the sound was being manipulated by Josh and Adriano using their programs. The whole conversation of sound is collaboration and having something to say. And if you can't communicate with other artists and elaborate on that thread, you're just missing out on everything. Wink Sound is your source for free music and audio technology videos featuring Ableton Live. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.